Well, a couple of events coming up this month at the Mary B. Martin School of the Arts. One of them, a concert featuring a musician that grew up right here in our own area. The other, a documentary that takes us behind bars. Anita DeAngelis is here now with more on these events that are coming up this month. It's good to have you. Thanks for having me, Amy. Already turning the calendar to March. I know, I know. Semester's going quickly over there Very at ETSU. Very quickly. <laughs> we, we have spring break next week, so. It's hard to believe. Right. But a lot of things coming up in March. We want to start with this documentary that I was reading about. Watch the trailer on. It sounds really interesting called I Come From. Yes, and, and it is very interesting. So the, the filmmaker, his name is Robbie Henson, and he has a 30 plus year career in filmmaking between New York and LA. But several years ago, he moved back to his hometown, Danville, Kentucky, uh -huh. and he is running his family. He's now the artistic director of his family's Pioneer Playhouse. Oh, wow. But he and his sister work together to build a program that's called Voices Inside. And so they go into prisons and share theater with them, share the arts with them, um, this film documents some of that, but it also documents a, a writing program, a creative writing program in the Kentucky prison system. So it kind of shows you the difference this can make, but yes. I'm sure a lot of these people have never had these experiences. Yeah, have not had the opportunity, have not had, had people encouraging them to express their feelings in a way that's, that's positive instead mm -hmm. of a way that's negative. And so they, they, um, some of the, the incarcerated individuals are writing poems. Some of them are dealing with spoken word. Um, there is a playwright that's featured in this film that's really quite an interesting story. So, you know, it's just a, a positive situation for people to go into these prisons. You often wonder what, what might have been, what might have happened right. if something like this would have been, especially for the ones that are really feeling the power. Right, and, and, I, and I think you know, giving people some hope for the future because not everyone who's incarcerated is going to be there for their, yeah. their lifetime. So giving them some skill sets that will help them in the future is important. That's really cool. And the filmmaker will actually be here. Yes, so this is part of our Southern Circuit Tour of Independent Filmmakers. So after the film, we'll have a question and answer period with the filmmaker. Very cool. Yeah. And then we have a concert coming up on the 23rd, which is a Thursday night. Right. And this is really cool because he's actually from this area and That's gone right. on to do just some incredible things. That's right. So Matt Palmer is coming back to the region. He graduated from Sullivan South High School. Um, he's a classical guitarist, but when he was a high school student, he played in a garage band and he was really into heavy metal. Wow. So quite a change. Know, quite a change. <laughs> and and we hear rumors that he still enjoys heavy metal. So um, you, you know, I think it's important for people to understand that you can enjoy lots of different things in music. You don't have to focus just on one particular genre. And you can evolve. Yes, you can I mean, evolve. And yeah. he has a different style, a different sort of technique when it comes to his instrument. Right, and, and I, I have this from a family member who's a classical guitarist as well, that classical guitar is a very difficult skill set. Um, it takes a lot of patience, takes a lot of practice. And Matt's developed a, a technique that apparently is quite helpful um, to, to people trying to, to learn classical guitar. Huh. I was so. reading one of the critics said he is jaw-dropping. Like it's just hearing his music and what he creates is yeah, just... And, and I think when you think of classical guitar, you think of the emotion yeah. of that music. So um, I'm really looking forward to that evening couple of big events coming up. Here we'll give you the information. Again, the documentary that she was talking about, I Come From, that will be shown Monday, March 13th. It begins at 7 o'clock right there at the Martha Street Culp Auditorium. And then the second event is actually taking place at one of our local churches, First Presbyterian Church in Johnson City. The Matt Palmer performance will begin at 7.30. For more information on both of those, you can check out their website.